Hi. Um, good day. All right. Today we're going to look at chapter five, form one, and it's called chapter uh, matter. All right. Chapter five, form one, matter. In this chapter, we'll describe what is matter and that everything around us is made of particles of matter. All right. Okay. So if you look at matter, so you should know that we're going to learn about matter. So what is matter? Everything around us is actually matter. All right. The ball, the bag, everything. Everything's made of matter. All right. So if you look at it here, the nature is made of matter. Okay. Soil, human, animal, everything is made of matter. Okay. Air, rocks, plant, everything is made of matter. Okay. Now, how do you define matter? When you want to define matter, you must tell that they will have mass. Matter has mass. So the objects around us all will have mass. So matter has mass. Next, matter also will have space. So you can tell that matter will have mass and occupy volume or has space. Matter will have space. So matter will have mass and space. And then, so the particles, everything is made of particles. So everything is, the particles are actually matter. So matter will have mass and occupy space, all right? You look at your paper, look at your baju, your shirt, everything, your table, everything around you is made of matter, all right? So matter, you must have two definitions. When you describe matter, you must tell matter must have space, all right, which is volume and must have mass. Matter occupies space, which is volume, must have take up a certain space volume and mass. So matter has mass and volume, right? Uh, space. Okay, next. So matter have mass and occupy space. Matter is everything around us that has mass and occupy space. Matter has mass and volume. So if there's a place, there's nothing empty completely, you might call it a vacuum space, like the space, outer space. A lot of empty vacuum space there, right? Matter is made up of tiny and discrete particles. Very small and terasing. Lah. Berpisa, it's called tiny and discrete particles. The particles are always moving in random motion. Even a solid particle, okay? Even a solid particle, the particles be between them are vibrating, all right? Next, look at it here. Properties of matter. You look at physical properties, they can, the physical properties are the properties that you can measure, you are able to measure like their density, melting point, boiling point, heat conductivity, all right? Then the other physical properties are the color, the solubility, all that. What are the chemical properties, the chemical reactions that take place, all right? Like you leave a metal, the metal will be corroded after some time, corrosion, and also some are flammable. This is the idea of chemical properties, all right? So you can see the physical property of an apple here, the color, the mass, the density, all, all right? Okay, next, the chemical reaction is like the oxidation on the surface, if you see, turn to red. So matter will have a certain properties or physical properties and will go through a certain chemical reactions, right? So chemical properties like the corrosion and the ab ability to be lighter, flammability, so this is corrosion and flammability. This is the properties of matter. Okay, next. We also see all the objects around us are matter. Okay, we can look at the density, boiling point, melting point, and solubility. Okay, see here. Density, the formula for density is mass per volume. So density is described as mass per unit volume of objects. We can write the density all right, in the units of density, in the units of gram per cm cube, or we can write the units of kilogram per meter cube. So a denser object, this is like a denser object. This is a very less dense object, okay? So these are the densities shown in gram per cm cube. So what is density? Density formula, density is described as the mass per unit volume of an object. Density, mass per unit volume of an object. Then you can see here, all right, 
A denser object always goes down, less dense is above it. A denser object goes down, the less dense is above it. So if, if I see here, the oil is above the water and then the ping pong ball is above all the liquid. So ping pong ball might have the lightest or the less density compared to everything, okay? So denser objects goes down. You can see here, water and oil, oil is less dense than water, so it floats. Then we have other properties like the ability of liquid where they will expand when heated a bit and also they'll have their boiling point. Boiling point should be the temperature at temperature, a point temperature when the liquid changes to gases. This is boiling point. So different matter will have different boiling point. If I take water, H2O, melting point is zero degrees Celsius and boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. This is for water, H2O. Melting point zero degrees Celsius, boiling point 100 degrees Celsius. Different matter, different substances will have different temperature. For example, you see chocolate shows the melting point is 30 to 32, right? Fat shows 32 to 35. Ice is zero. Okay, these are the melting point. Then we're also looking at substances around us. There are solids that can dissolve in liquid. The substance that dissolve in another liquid is solute, all right? The liquid used to dissolve is called solvent. So solvent is like water. This is like um, copper sulfate, for instance. So once you dissolve, you get a solution. So solute, pepejal, bahan yang akan larut. Solvent is the liquid yang akan melarutkan, which will be used to dissolve them. All right, solvent. So you mix them, you get solution. So a measure of how much solute can dissolve in a solvent and a form of Solution at a given temperature is called solubility. Ability of a solute to dissolve in a solvent is called solubility. A measure of how much solute can dissolve in a solvent and form a solution at a given temperature. This is called solubility. All right. So solubility, here we see how much solute can dissolve in a solvent at a given temperature. All right. Okay, next. Done. So the mixture is the solution, which will have the solute and the solvent. The substance that can dissolve in water are the one around us, coffee, sugar, all this milk powder. Substance that cannot dissolve are chalk, rock and rubber, all this, right? So this is the whole idea of solubility, yeah? how much solute can dissolve in a solvent and form a solution at given temperature, okay? So we have come to the end, all right? We have gone through all the slides already, okay? So the whole idea today, we describe what is matter. The whole idea of 5.1 is actually matter. Matter have mass and occupy space. That's about matter. Okay, in the next part, we'll go through state of matter, okay? Thank you.